Hello yoga family, hello yoga community. Welcome back to my channel, the best place to practice yoga for your body, mind, and soul. Today's class is a bedtime yoga routine that promotes deep, restful sleep. It's a cozy way to unravel from the physical, mental, and emotional demands of your day so you can slide into bed with way less angst and wake up with much more ease. For this practice, I am going to recommend two blocks. We will settle into restorative fish pose during the sequence. If you don't have two blocks, you can roll a blanket up and place it horizontally across your mat instead. And I'll cue you when we get to that posture. But two blocks are absolutely recommended or a burrito-like roll of a blanket. And then lastly, I am going to suggest that you have a blanket folded like so. It's recommended, not required. And I'll let you know when we're going to use that as well. We'll end the practice with pranayama and a mudra, which will help us make that transition into sleeping soundly. So let's begin and we'll come to all fours tabletop position. Settling into a simple cat-cow posture, stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees to begin. Inhale, let that belly soften, tailbone lifts, collarbone spreads. Exhale, reverse the movement. Tailbone drops, dome the back, let the head and neck hang heavy. Inhale, come forward. Exhale. Reach up through the upper back. Last time, inhale, come forward. Exhale, belly to spine, tailbone descends, head and neck hang heavy. Come back through to neutral tabletop now. Inhale, reach the right arm high. Exhale to thread the right arm through, right shoulder, right ear, coming down to the mat. And then choosing where would I like my left hand to be? It can stay right here by the face as an anchor. You can reach left hand towards the top of the mat here, or you can come around for a bind. You choose what feels best for your body this evening. And then settle in. We'll be here for a few breaths. Steady inhale and exhale. Transitioning from the demands of your day, be they physical, mental, emotional, most likely all of them, into a restorative state. Where the, where the entire body regenerates. Our breath being the tool that helps us make that transition. Inhale together. Heavy sigh. Left hand returns near the face. Press into the palm strongly to lift up, unravel, reach right arm high. Awesome, place right hand down. Let's switch to the opposite side. Inhale, left arm high. Reach through those fingertips, exhale, thread through, left shoulder, left ear coming down and then choosing where do I want my right hand to be on this side of the body. Continuing to breathe, inhale, exhale through the nose. Let the tension of the day melt away.
Inhale together. Heavy sigh. Press into the right palm. Use that strength of the arm to unravel. Reach left fingertips high and place the left hand down. Coming into a kneeling posture now. If you've got that block, you can place it underneath your bum. I like to put it on the second height between my ankles and I'm facing this way just so you can see me. <clears throat> Coming into Eagle Pose arms, inhale those arms out wide. Exhale, right arm underneath left. You can come into a half bind here or a full bind. And then it, wherever you are, half full, elbows can reach up towards the shoulders, send the hands away from the face. And reconnect with that steady breath. Collective inhale breath, heavy sigh, inhale arms open wide, exhale right arm underneath left this time, actually excuse me, left arm underneath right, whichever one you didn't do, settle in, steady breaths. So you and I both know that sleep is an essential quality. And when we look at it through the lens of the chakra system, it's an essential root chakra quality. Sleep tends to and cares for our outermost sheath, the Anamaya Kosha, the physical body. It helps us regenerate. It's a foundational element that really vivifies and stabilizes our whole complex. And so if you struggle with sleep, definitely pay attention to that, prioritize that, because without sleep, it's nearly impossible to manifest our desires and dreams. Last inhale together. Unwind the arms. Inhale, open into goal pose for a moment. And exhale, let that go. Coming into fish pose. So if you're working with a blanket, again, you're going to roll it into a chunky burrito, place it horizontally across your mat, and then you'll lay yourself down over that blanket about where your bra strap would be, arms overhead in goal posts. If you have two blocks, first one is at the tallest setting, second one is at the medium setting. The second block at the medium setting will also be about upper mid back where the bra strap would be. The taller block will come to the occiput, that ridge between your head, your skull, and where the cervical spine, the neck meet. And when you've got it positioned correctly, the chin will tuck down. You'll have some double chin action here, but take your time to get settled. We'll be here for three minutes together. If you're lying over a blanket, again, arms are over the blanket in goal pose. If you are on the blocks in fish pose, let the shoulders externally rotate, palms face up, feet splay open, for everyone, allow the entire body to soften. Take as many soothing breaths, as many sighs on the exhale as you need to fully arrive into a state of rest. To fully allow yourself to transition away from the demands of the day. 
away from the mental stories that hang heavy, coming back home to ourselves. Coming back home to a state of joy, balance, openness, so that we can continue to travel this beautiful yet difficult life journey. Last minute here, really enjoy this moment with yourself. Collective inhale, heavy sigh. For those of us in fish, begin to bend the knees, press into the feet to lift the hips and send the tailbone down. Walk the elbows back so that you can use your hands to clasp the sides of your mat. Press into the elbows to lift the head first. Now press palms into the floor to lift all the way up. If you're over a blanket, meet us in this upright position for a moment too. Walk feet in towards the body. Wrap arms around the fronts of the legs, the shins. Clasp hands. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold into yourself. Head and neck drop. What would it look like if you and I cared for ourselves just like this? More consistency, more consistently as a ritual, as a routine. How cared for would we be? And how would that care extend into other areas of being. Slowly lift the gaze. Hmm. Place the blocks off to the side. If you're working with a blanket, have it nearby. We're going to lower down onto the back once again for a supine twist. Okay, so blanket is going to come between the legs, nothing fancy. And allow the legs to fall over to the left. Right arm comes out to the side. If you're like me and cramped for space, it can be in a goalpost shape. And the left hand can rest atop the right thigh here or wherever is comfortable. Settle in. Reconnect to your breath. Uh, 
eyes softly closed or simply gazing ahead. Feeling the solidity and the stability of the earth plane beneath your body. Beneath your energy. Beneath your emotions. Beneath your thoughts. Beneath your wisdom and intellect. Beneath your spirit. You are fully and completely cared for here. Slowly transition to the other side. Gently engage the abdominals to bring the legs back through center. Shift knees and hips over to the right now. And then again, left arm is gonna come out from the shoulder socket, possibly extended long or in a goal post, depending on the space available to you in your home. Right hand can rest atop the left thigh or wherever is comfortable and settle in. We're here for one sweet minute together. Last breath. Release the blanket. You can place it atop the body if you'd like some added weight. And we'll hold Shavasana just for a moment and end our practice with pranayama and a mudra. Each time we settle into Shavasana, it's really an opportunity for rebirth to happen. Same as when we fall asleep, right? We wake up anew. Collective inhale, collective sigh, slowly wake your way up to a seat, sitting atop any prop that feels supportive for you. And we'll close with Brahmari or B breath, which is an inhale through the nose and an exhale with the mouth closed, but creating a humming-like sound. And we'll pair this breath technique with the Adi Mudra, which is the gesture of primordial stillness. And how appropriate as we settle in for an evening of stillness and silence as we transition into restorative sleep. <laughs> 
To take this mudra, you bring the thumbs inward and simply clasp all four fingers around the thumb. And then you can let this rest atop the knees here. Super simple. The Adi Mudra for stillness. Roll the shoulders back and down. Feel free to listen to me first if you're new to be breath and then join in. We'll do it for one minute together. Mm. round. Sweep the arms out to the sides, palms touch overhead, hug hands down through center, borders of the thumb, connect with the sternum, lift the chest, inhale for om. slowly open your eyes thank you so much for joining me that was an incredibly soothing restorative practice here in my home i hope that was the same experience for you and yours and you're able to slide into bed with less angst and wake up with more ease so if you like practicing yoga with me number one please subscribe to the channel to support at home free yoga number two get my yoga reset guide the link is in the description below it is a seven step journey through the chakra system. It is a body, mind, soul experience, holistic in every nature. There are asana classes, energy aligning meditations, mantras and affirmations, off the mat, self-reflection questions, and chakra teachings. So it is a full at-home chakra reset experience. Again, that link is in the description below, and I'll meet you back here to continue practicing yoga holistically together.